Madam, don't tell me you are still sleeping. Before Uncle. Have you gone online? What's online? Just go there and see the countdown I stay for your 30th birthday. Did I tell you I want to turn 30? <laughs> see, let me tell you, you are transiting to the level of Agbaya. That's what... <laughs> Just a big goat. Thank you. And don't forget to tell them that I am the best thing that has happened to your life. Beg, 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 leave me. Beg, bye, Get bye. Get out, sweet Brad. <laughs> What are you doing there? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. I'm changing your clothes. I told you yesterday to let them be. I'm fine with them. Madam asked me to change them. I said I don't want my wardrobe changed. <laughs> Good morning, Sophia Nene Ojuku. Good morning, Mom. You were saying? Let me have. Mommy, why is my wardrobe being changed? I love the clothes there. Well, I do not like them anymore. Uh, those clothes are uh, barely three months. Are you the one buying them? Am I complaining? Well, I am the one wearing them. I can't be changing my clothes every, every um, two or three months. Well, you do not have any say. Here. Open. I don't want. Oh, come on, Nene. You're not going to make me beg you to eat your fruits this morning. It's the right thing to do. Open your mouth. Take a bite. That's nice. Good. That's my girl. Go and check those clothes. You love them. And if I don't? That means you're underrating your mother. Go and put something nice on. Remember your boyfriend said he's coming later today? He can come tomorrow or probably never. That's my girl. Go wear something nice, okay? <sighs> so I need to add some more. Add more pineapple. Just I think one more pineapple. One more time. Where are you? Fast, 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 fast. Let's go. Take those other ones, side. Tell him to cut two cartons of chicken and leave the rest. Okay? Okay, ma'am. I've made a transfer to you. Okay. Um, make sure you get some more sausages. Okay. Received, ma'am. Great. Um, get more sausages, all right? Okay, ma'am. So we can replace. Uh, Welcome, sir. Thank you. Hi. Okay, ma'am. Good day. Handsome man. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mom. Okay, um, let me get her for you and then have the cook make something for both of you. Okay? Oh, thank you very much, Ma. But uh, I would actually love to take her out today. Oh. Yes, there's really? this nice, cool restaurant in town I just discovered. I would love to take her there, Ma. Wow. Amazing. Thank you. I like guys who are... Very adventurous. No, oh, you flatter me, but thank you very much. It's okay. I'll get her for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mm. One minute. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Hello, my princess. Hi, Your man is here to take you out. And. Um. I'm busy. <laughs> you need to see what your face looks like. This is what you're wearing. Take a look. Oh, I just told you I'm busy. No, you are not. Please tell him to come back by weekend. What rubbish are you talking about? Don't stress me, do you hear me? I just told you that you are the reason that young man is here and you're talking rubbish. Mommy, I said I don't feel like hanging out. 
will you stop arguing about this for goodness sakes? You're not going to make these things very difficult for me. Dress up. That man is waiting for you and you will not keep him waiting. Take this dress and wear it. I will just go in there and find what particular hair suits this plot. And you will dress up and go downstairs and meet him. Do you get it? Yeah, I pre-ordered. Nice. Oh. Are you trying to get yourself drunk? Can I? A student make my day. I thought we came to talk. Maybe you did. I'm only here to get high. Can I get another glass? No. Fine. I really want us to have a conversation. I'm all ears. Anyway, food is from be here, so a glass of wine can accompany it. Whatever you say. <laughs> well, I I want us to talk about uh, a few things I've been trying to work on. And by the way, your mom did mention that you'll be leaving for the UK soon. Really? Uh, really? Oh. Where in the UK will I be going? Come on now, Nene. I mean, you must have had this conversation with her already. Uh, trust me, you're the first to hear it. Well, that's obviously because I'm, I really do care about you and how we should be synchronizing plans. Synchronize away, I'm all yours. That's what my wonder wants, right? Well, now you have another glass. So, Nene, how can I actually get you to open up to me? I really need you to open up to me. Yes, please. Are you not tired? No, I'm not. Well, I am. Nene. Nene. Thank you. Please uh, thank your you madam we are here. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. We can do our best. But what you must not do is to argue unnecessarily. Brother, are you implying that I argue a lot? Huh? You like to make your point. But Emilia never likes it. Listen, brother. We didn't come here to bow and worship her. We came here for something serious. And that is, the way she's treating Katrina is unacceptable. It's really bad. Oh, I expected you people to come mm. earlier. Yes, we have to come now. Uh, Eunice's son returned this afternoon, so she had to go to the airport to pick him. Oh, nice. Eunice, how are you? I'm doing fine, and you? Oh, I'm doing great. What about Nene? Um, Nene stepped out with her husband to be. Oh, mm. that's awesome. I guess you're here because of Catherine. Yes. Um, Mom and Dad left that property for Catherine. Hmm. That was because I was not around. Even if you were around, it's going to be given to her. Says who? Mom has been saying that from the onset that that property belongs to Katrina since we were little children. Listen to yourself. There is a first daughter in the house and the property is given to the second daughter. Anyway, that is totally unacceptable to me. But Emilia, we were there when mother says she wants the property to be given to, to, to Catherine. And... 
At least I am the first son of this house and I... That is very inconsequential here, Dan. That your first sonship is extremely inconsequential. Sister, why are you talking to him like that? Is it because he's not supporting you? That is why you decided to talk to him in that manner. Eunice, will you hey. shut that toilet you call a mouth? Hmm. Shut it. Emilia, what you are doing by forcefully taking that property away from Kathleen, it's not good. There is no tradition or law that says that that property should come to you. That property is a gift from grandfather to mother. And mother has the right to give it to any one of us. And she has chosen to give to the second daughter. At least three of us should accept that. Well, I will not accept it. I won't. Or what will happen? Oh, she should try and see. She go ahead and try. Sister, why is it that you like intimidating your siblings all oh, because you are rich? <laughs> oh my. <sighs> Look at this public primary school headmistress. Eunice, listen to me. If you open your mouth and say one more word of nonsense, I will withdraw every support and privilege that I'm giving to you and your children. Then you will understand what it means to be intimidated. You will have a first-hand experience of what it means for the wealthy to intimidate the poor. So what happened? Why did you come back so fast? I already told you what happened. That what? That he had an emergency call. Um, by the way, what's going on between you and Eunice and Uncle Dan? Don't change the subject. I am not. Why are you all arguing? They ganged up against me. Catherine sent them to me and I sent them right back to her. Why are you and Auntie Catherine never in good terms? Nene, do not make this about me. Do you understand? I want you to tell me why you left that outing and came back here so fast. If you do not talk to me about it right now, I'm going to call Eric and find out exactly what happened. I'm listening. I left him at the restaurant. Why? I got upset. About what? Staring at him gets me upset. <laughs> Nene, are you sure you really want to fall in love and get married? I want to, Mom. I really do. Not to Eric? Yes. I feel nothing for him. You do not feel anything for a young, handsome man like that? Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. What eyes have you been looking with? My friend, will you stop acting like a child and make that relationship work? Please. Nene, not today. Do you understand? Not now.
Hi, and um, where is where is she? She's upstairs. Oh, okay. Where is she? Madam, you want to tell me all these things I've been posting on social media? You've not seen anyone. Eh? This Dead Sea threats we are planning. That's why you've not commented, Abby. What's up with you now? Don't you know since Dead Sea 30? Maybe only Dead Sea 30. And the lapidated 30. Because I'm not in the mood for that right now. What's going on? Why are you sulking? I'm just tired. My mom, she won't let me breathe. Like, I feel choked. I, I feel like I'm 12 years old. Girl, but this is your mom. I mean, she has always been like this now. I know, but I'm tired. I'm really tired. I, like, I'm literally fed up. Matilda, I'm turning 30 in a few weeks' time. And I can't make decisions on my own. I, I don't have the opportunity to choose things for myself. That's all I want. But she won't let me. I just... I just wish somebody can take me away from this place. Just take me somewhere different. Maybe Guinea-Bissau or something. Guinea-Bissau? <laughs> Why Guinea-Bissau? It's far. <sighs> Madam, be careful what you wish for. Hmm? I don't know what else to do. I just want to be free. Free from my mom. Free from this house. Free from Eric. Just I beg that Eric guy. Is his own that is even scratching? What is it? Can't he find someone else? Hmm. Eh? Why is he still hanging around? I don't know the promises my mother made him, honestly. Because I have done everything that would, you know, discourage a normal human being. But this guy will keep coming back. He keeps coming back. I, I, I don't get it. The truth is, he's not even my type. I want somebody unusual, somebody, you know, adventurous. Interesting. Don't you like my cousin? You think it's funny? Girl, I'm not joking either. Listen, I have this cousin that likes bush. Yes. And their family have this very big land with all kinds of animals in it. He's very weird, but he's an artist. He says um the bush gives him inspiration, sort of. <laughs> Wait, you have a real life Tazan in your family. Very nice guy. But he hates to socialize. Oh, that makes us too. Uh, <laughs> Madame, Madam, you've not even seen him. You don't know if he's the kind of a person you would like. You started matching behavioral patterns. I beg, I beg. I will match you. Why won't I match? See, anybody that is totally different from Eric, that guy is my type. Mm -hmm. okay. It's not even as if I want something serious. I just want something new, you know, just talk to somebody, even if it's just for a few hours. I'm more desperate. But you want to fall in love. I mean, we've had this conversation before. Yes, I want to fall in love, but I'm not desperate for love. What I'm desperate for is my freedom and some adventure. Girl, we need to visit him then. I'm going to use you to bring him out to socialize. Oh, <laughs> use me as you want, please. Uh, but then, one thing, one thing. You can't come with your driver. Yes, you can't come with him because I can't risk him seeing my cousin. Your mom is going to come for him and I don't like that. Wow. That's a hard one. You know my driver takes me everywhere. You, I... need to, you need to find a way. I'll find a way. Definitely. But can we go there tomorrow? Uh -uh. Be a good girl now. Stop rushing into things like a slot. It's not good. You don't say you are mad though. Like you know get sense. I just told you now that I'm not desperate, yet you are saying this rubbish. You say let's go tomorrow. I mean, it's my you want to see. Are yeah. you okay? So you just say the truth. It's because you're lucky. You're very lucky, like you can leave your house without anybody see, monitoring you. Just say the truth. Let's know how we can help. Is it my you want to see? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I know you're bigger. Man. You have to stick out to see man. Say the truth. Say the truth. <laughs> no. Let's not wake you. No, don't let's don't, not.
dice this properly and make sure you juice this oranges very very well and the lemon okay um the cucumber cuts cut them properly and make sure that everything is um hello dear good morning mom my dear what's going on where are you off to exercise I've always told you to keep it it's okay <clears throat> mom exercise since when since I want a particular dress for my birthday. Oh, you know, I have actually ordered something for your birthday. In fact, I was going to have it adjusted a little bit just to make a perfect fit, but I think I'll let it be now that you're trying to work out. You've already ordered it? Before, Uncle, do you know your mom to be somebody who will waste time? I've done that already. Don't worry, you will love it. I'll show you. Hey, talking about an exercise, you will need a um, water bottle and uh, maybe glucose for energy. Just hold on, let me get it for you. Wait, Edna! Give me water bottle there, fast, fast, fast. Water bottle, be packing the glucose in the container. Put it in the container. I'm coming back to collect it. Nene! Nene! Inside that bag, but don't worry, let's drive up from this place so you can wait. Thank you so much, Matilda. I was so scared. I know. <laughs> huh. All I want now is some adventure, some freedom. That is all I want for my 30th birthday. Don't worry, you're going to get that. <laughs> well, I called him and he didn't pick. So he's had to tell if he's around or not. Ah. Uh. What are we going to do now? We're going. Oh. Don't worry, we we're going so we'll blow your mind. Oh. <laughs> I love the sound of that already. I know. Okay, <laughs> let the adventure begin. Yeah. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> You're serious. That's not even mad. Like, no one. See, yeah. Who in their right senses to come to a place like this to stay? Huh? It's a very safe neighborhood. <gasps> oh my god. What? I love it here already. Are you serious? It's a long walk. No, but we're here now. This is really beautiful. What? <laughs> I love it here already. Oh, I thought oh you were going God. to be scared or something. <sighs> Careful.
somebody really lives here. <laughs> this is amazing. Word. It's not amazing. It's a very weird like... feeling. Oh my god. It's scary coming here. Uh, uh, Matilda. Huh? Don't tell me we're going to climb that. We we'll have to. I don't get it. Wait, wait. wait. Living in exile, like why would somebody be staying here? Just for me. Oh, I can't move the yacht here with this my thing in your back. No, no, don't put it there. Okay. Please be careful. I'm scared. Oh my god, it's monkey. Monkeys. Three monkeys. No, oh. dude, I can't do this. Just try. Coming. Oh my goodness! Just try. Okay? I'm trying. I swear. But it's a hold on, let me get to you a little. Okay. Okay. Wow. It's beautiful. I know, right? Yes, it is. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. His work? Yeah. Oh my goodness. To be kind of him. He's so talented. This is amazing. I love it. Wow. It still looks the same. Oh. Oh. It's been a while. This is his bedroom. Same painting. Yeah. It's a lovely place. He has a woman. <laughs> Obviously. And here I was thinking of how to hook you guys up. Matilda, I don't need a hook up. But you want to fall in love. Yes, but not through hook ups. But you need an opposite sex, don't you? Of course. <laughs> um, hi, cuz. Um, this is Nene. Nene, this is my cousin Caleb. so happy to see us. Um, there's a reason other than breaking into his house, but we're here now. Why didn't you talk about the reason before we got here? Hey, Coward. It's been a while. It has. How is that, T? Hope everything is fine. Yeah, everything and everyone is fine. Um, we're sorry for barging into your house. Um, I know you don't like it. Yeah. Please sit down. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Nene. Uh, hi. T, 
Do you want anything to drink? Water is fine. What about you? No, I'm fine. He's interesting and sadly taken. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I know this might sound crazy, but we just drove down here for some adventure and to check on you. And you came here? Yeah. Um, my friend is turning 30 and I wanted some adventure for her. There's nothing here. I mean, the environment is different from where we live. You, nature, and your girlfriend are here. My girlfriend? Yeah, what's all the dress in the room? Oh. Yeah, her dress. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is she here with you? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've not spoken in a while. I should have known about her. Hmm. Is she around? She went home. Oh. <sighs> hmm. Um, we should head out. I mean, it's good to see you. Yeah. It's okay. Well, okay. Happy birthday in advance, Nene. Uh, mm. Thank you. Um, sorry for barging into your house once again. It's all right. Um. <laughs> thank uh, you for, for the water. Thank you. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Um, something seems off with your cousin. Seems you guys are not that close. Um, I'm the reason for the distance between us. What do you mean? He lost his sister and he led me, but I wasn't there for him. He really loved her and her death took a toll on him. Were you in town? No, I was in the UK. Was he not aware that you were not around? <laughs> That's not enough excuse. Years ago when my parents got divorced, he came all the way from Australia for me. Wow. Now I guess why he was staring at you like, what are you doing here? I'm yeah. so sorry. It's okay. It's unfortunate. Like, I don't know. I didn't think this whole thing through before coming here. We shouldn't have come. Ah, no. Don't even say that, Matilda. I have to find your phone elsewhere. <laughs> I had sorry. a lot of fun, please. Really? Yeah. I just have to face reality now. My mom. No. Well, it's good to escape from the whole prison once in a while. I really loved today. Wish I could repeat it every day of my life, basically. No, this, this is scary, trust me. <laughs> I know. What is going on? Is my daughter come back? I know, is my daughter here? Nene. Which other daughter do I have? Is Nene here? I'm trying to understand what she'll be doing here. She's not here. She's not here. What is going on? Ah, never mind.
What if your mother have called the police like she did when you slept over in my place? Honestly, I'm trying not to even think about my mother right now. All I'm just thinking about is that prison I'm going back to. What are you people trying to tell me? I'm talking to you! That you do not know where my daughter is? Did she disappear into thin space? I'm asking all of you, where is my daughter? Driver, I am talking to you. You were meant to be following her everywhere she goes to. But she went to jogging. She went to jogging? Are you serious? Forever? Yes, ma, she went jogging. What is going on here? Auntie housekeeper, ma, were you not meant to follow her everywhere? Ma, she went jogging. I saw her when she went jogging. Who are you people? Listen, I'm giving you people one hour. Do you get me? One hour. Go outside, go through this estate, come everywhere and bring my daughter back to me. Do you get me? If not, I'm getting the police involved. Do you understand me? Yes, ma. Who's that? Sophia? Nene, where are you coming from? What happened to your phone? What happened to your phone? My battery died. Moreover, I told you I was going to exercise. For how many hours? For how many hours, Nene? I, I needed some time to, to figure out my plans after my birthday. You could not do that in your bedroom. Am I a prisoner? What are you talking about? Do you know what you put me through? At least let somebody know where you are. You went exercising and then you were gone for only God knows how long. Okay, mom. Nene, do not do this to me again. Do you understand me? Don't put me through this again. I was almost losing my mind. I'm here now. Go to your room. Make sure that meat is soft before you bring it down, okay? Hello, darling. Good, good morning, Mom. Good morning. Did you rest well? Yes, I did. I hope as I turn 30, Mom, you will finally realize that you need to knock before you come into my room. <laughs> Why wait till you turn 30? Just tell me to start knocking from now. I've been telling you that. No, oh, keep saying it. I'm sure someday it will make sense. What do you want? <sighs> Nene, you know that you mean everything to me. All I'm doing, all I work hard for, is just so that my child will have the very best in life. There are so many people who are looking for this opportunity that you have. Mom, I don't take for granted all you do for me. But all I'm asking is for you to let me be me. I need to do some things myself. So what am I doing wrong? That I am guiding my child? That's not what I'm saying. No, but what are you trying to say? I'm only being a caring mother here. And I will continue to do the job of a good mother. I do not have any apologies for that. Please, always allow someone to follow you everywhere you are going to. And let someone know where you are by time. That's all. I've heard you. Great. Now, um, I'm planning a trip for you and Eric to Mauritius. Two days to your birthday. Why is Eric going with me? Oh, because he cares about you. And I'll be joining in 24 hours. It still doesn't make sense that he's going with me. I mean, it's my birthday, not honeymoon. Nene. 
This guy loves you and he really cares about you. Don't lose him. I won't even let you do that. I'm going to make sure that I follow through everything and your relationship will work out just fine. Okay? You know, you have been talking about having to think and, you know, have a retrospect after you have turned 30. I think this is just a perfect time for you to do that. I was going to have this conversation with you after you return from Mauritius, but I think I should just go ahead and let's have this conversation right now. I have been talking to this um, two engineering companies actually in the UK and then um, they are very excited to have a first class graduates in civil engineering come work with them. They're very excited. And when we return from Mauritius, we'll start planning your trip for the UK. Okay. Now, there are a lot of opportunities and privileges that you will have working with either of these companies. I know you've been saying that there are some things you're planning to do, some ideas of things that you want to do. It's beautiful, perfect. But the truth of the matter is that you have great opportunities, amazing opportunities when you work with either of these companies. You will love it. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, darling. Anytime, you know I always have your back. Mm -hmm. Hugs for mommy. Okay, be good. Let me go see what they're making for you. Some just breakfast for you. Don't lock that door. chance to take over my life will i open up my wings and fly will i ever really get the chance to do the things i want to finally step into my prime no longer wanna be stuck in a box think it's time i came out to the sun stuck in the cage and they really suck yeah the one on um habat macaulay way no that's 120 by 90 square meters yes <laughs> 50.5 million. A million? Okay. So call me back later when you're ready. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Very well. Thank you. I came to make sure that you and Nene are okay. You know, the way you came looking for her kept me up all night. And I called you about midnight and you didn't pick. Hmm. Um, I must have gone to bed at that time. That wasn't a very good time to call anyone. I was resting already. I was worried. I see. We're doing okay. We're very well. Um, Nene stepped out with the housekeeper. Oh. Mm -hmm. And um, it's her 30th birthday in a few weeks. Oh, wow. Yes. And... Um, I hope people will get something really nice for her. <laughs> uh, we can do something. Hmm. You have to get something very nice. I need to see it to be sure that I like it. You know, it's a milestone for her. Well, we'll talk about that together and see what we can do. not talk. Nothing to talk about. Sorry, I need to take this. Um, hello? I need to take this. Talk to you later. Yes, hello. That one on Admiralty Way. Wow, ah. my beautiful. Oh, oh my God. God. Good day. How are you? Uh, are you going out? Yes, uh, I came to check you and your mom. Yes, you did not bother to see me. <laughs> your mom already told me that you are okay. And your mom mentioned something about your 30th birthday being a big one. Is it? Yes, of course. And what would you want me to get for you? I don't think you can. Mm, tell me. Whatever it is, I, I believe it has a cheaper version. Otherwise, I'll beg you to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to bother yourself, okay? Just get me anything you want to. Okay, no problem. I, well, we still have 
few weeks to plan to that. So you think about it, then you let me know. Okay. Okay, my beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Say hi to everyone for me. I will do that. Okay. My beautiful <laughs> angel. Oh, cool. Take care. You too. You've been here twice in less than a week. Exactly. For not being here when Emma died. And it took you this long to come here. And then when you eventually decided to, you couldn't even call me. You took my spare key, walls into my house, enter my room with a complete stranger. She's not a stranger. She's my best friend. I remembered you while I was speaking to her and without giving it a thought, I brought her here. For what exactly? I know you're hardly in a relationship, so... So you brought your friend here hoping that I would jump into a relationship with her? No, no. She was trying to take a break from the guy she's seen. All she wanted was to hang out, talk, or maybe watch you paint. I was just, I was just looking for something that remotely resembles adventure for her. And I remembered you. Coming here was an afterthought for you, Matilda. Honestly, yes. But today I came to apologize for not being here as I should. You came all the way from Austria for me. But I couldn't do things for you and I'm sorry. I, I called several times. Calling me to ask how the bearer was going was not enough. I needed you here. I know. You're my favorite cousin. I needed you here. I know, Caleb. I know. And I'm sorry I couldn't be here for you. I, I, I know you would have done better. And truth is, when I returned, I didn't know how to face you. So I kept quiet. I didn't handle the situation well, and I'm sorry. It's fine. I've moved on. And I don't have an adventure for your friend. It's okay. She'll find something else or someone. Um, is your girlfriend around? I'd love to meet her. She's not. Okay. Um, can I invite you for lunch or dinner if truly you have forgiven me?
Invite me first. Let's see how it goes. I really miss this. I should have thought about that before running off. To understand. Are you not coming from Emilia's place? Yes. But she didn't tell me exactly what happened. But at least I saw Nene. Is she okay? Yes, she's fine. And that is enough for me. Because storming in here asking me the whereabouts of Nene and not picking my calls to tell me exactly what happened is a typical Emilia. <sighs> I'm worried about Nene. So worried about her. She's fine. <sighs> is she? Because her mother is living the life out of her. It's making her life unbearable. This is not right. This is totally wrong and unacceptable. Eunice, I don't have the time or energy to talk about anything that has to do with Emilia. Please. But that's not right. You are a senior brother and you have to intervene. You have to do something. You can't leave that girl to stay like that. It's not right at all. No, you don't just do this. No, no. Yeah. Hi. Hi, my name is Nene. I got your number online. Yes, um, you have an impressive lineup of published books, I must say. You're welcome. Okay. The thing is, I have children's book I would like to publish and distribute in schools. It's a first to many. Yes. Okay, I need you to please send me a complete information on how to go about it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm really sorry, but I can't meet up. Um, I'm actually busy. Okay, I would um, just text you my email address right now. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. What's the matter? I thought you were my mom. Uh -huh. She budges in just like that. Oh, what? The rest for this in the house, Sha. Alpha. Okay, just hold on. I'm trying to send my email address. So... Why are you texting your email address to me? The publisher. You're finally publishing your children's book? Yes. Ah, that's it's, great. What? It's um, my birthday gift to myself. Hey, I'm finally working on God. it. <laughs> okay. okay. At this point, then, your mother will kill somebody if not you. She can never find out who. She cannot. Not on this earth. Do you know what it is? She has plans that we're going to relocate to the UK. She hasn't got the job for me in two companies. Ah, ah, you want an actual woman. Huh? So how do you plan on hiding this from her? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just trying to figure things out. <laughs> the publisher I called wants us to meet, you know, to discuss about the vision of my book. But I can't meet him. You know, I'll, I'll try for now. Once he sees me with him, man, no matter where you're with. Ah. At least I'm the only person she allows to come in here. What do you mean? Use me. How can I use you? Book any restaurant and I will naturally be there. Uh-huh. And that's it. Matilda. Yes. Matilda. Yes. Matilda, my best yes. girl. Great darling. Mm. Uh -uh. You see, I'm the best thing that happened to you in life. Uh, well, you know what to admit. Uh, please. So pride is not allow you. <laughs> but it's okay. I know you don't need to tell uh, no, me. No, no. I agree for today. Not for today. Oh, thank you. It's thank just you. pride. Pride is not allow you to be great. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I want something cheap to drink, Jo. Masu, have you contacted with Caleb? Seriously? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I know. Thank God. Please. Eh? 
Yes, so I asked for this meeting because there's a whole lot of trust that should be between a publisher and an author. And since we live in the same neighborhood, I was like, why not sit and talk about it? Yeah, I totally agree with you. Yeah. Do you know uh, we have a whole lot of online platform where you can publish? And you don't even need to see anyone physically to discuss anything with anybody. Uh, the thing is, my audience are not online. Preaching? Yes. Ah, okay, which is why you talked about, you know, distributing to schools? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you didn't ask me about what publishing a book entails. So if you give me the manuscript, we start um, polishing, then start designing, then put money into advertising and um, promotion to actually make maximum sales. And then take a huge cut from the sales. Yes, and um, if it fails, I'll actually have huge it's loss. It's not going to fail. I pray so. Okay, but I have to approve um, the book cover and everything else before you publish. Okay, that's no problem. So let's just do um, good business. And um, <laughs> okay. our book is out as soon as. Yeah. But you know, sometimes you never know. It's just like I'm buying something and I can't tell. Oh, nice. Where are you people coming from? I was wondering what kind of lunch people were having uh, from the afternoon till now. Good evening, ma'am. I'm sorry we got carried away. <sighs> Matilda, how is your mom? She's good. Is she in town? No, she traveled to Switzerland. Mm. Strong woman. Mm. Mm. Um, All right. Mommy will be in our room. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, lest I forget, your husband-to-be, Eric, will be coming for lunch tomorrow. All right, so run along. Don't let the mention of Eric's spoil a great meeting we just had. Why is my mother so insensitive? You've been enduring it. Keep it cool still. She's obsessed with you because you are her only child. Is she not the same person that had you monitored and watched all through the time you were in school? You should be used to it. This will never stop. This looks really nice. Thank you very much, Ma, for inviting me. Oh, it's always my pleasure having you around. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Hmm. You like? I like it. Nice. Your beautiful wife will soon be joining us. Okay. You're a very lucky man, you know. I know, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hmm, here she comes. My beautiful daughter. Hi, Nene. Hello. Hmm. Smile now. Smile for your husband. No shakara now. Hmm? Let's eat and then talk about the future. What future are you talking about, Mom? Ah, okay. Let us eat for now. Give me that. Let me help. Good. Enjoy your food. any problem? You know I prefer fish. Oh. You know that I like meat. Chicken. It's very healthy. And it's very tasty too. Go ahead. It's... It's nice. <laughs> She'll be fine.
Hi, Anthony. Good day. Um, did you get the manuscript I sent last night? Okay, okay. Just um, send a sample of the cover design. Maybe I can choose from one and probably adjust it to my satisfaction. Well, can I design myself and send to you? No, 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 no. I'll hire someone to interpret what I have in my head. I, I will have to call you back, okay? In the middle, I will call you back, I will call you back. I'm coming! Why were you locking your door? It's nothing. I just needed some privacy. Come on now, Nene. You know that it's a no-no. It's, it's, not, it's not possible here. You know. What do you want, Mom? Well, I have decided that I'm going to organize another birthday party for you before we leave for Mauritius. Uh, people celebrate birthdays every day. It's not a big deal. I don't need two parties. <laughs> Listen, there are so many of our friends here who need to be part of your celebration. So, we're going to invite them. Don't worry, it will be nice. You will have fun. Don't worry, dear. I'll go order your cake. Hi, Matilda. Hello, good day, ma'am. How are you, dear? I'm fine, thank She's you. She's in. Okay. Hey, what's up? There's going to be another birthday party for me. I'm sure you have no say in it. Nope. Well, this is no new. So what happens now? I don't know yet. All I want is for my book cover to be artistic and colorful. Yeah. I really like that painting at your cousin's place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why not give him a call? It's quite affordable. Okay. Let me give you his number so you That's just That's actually call a good it. idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did I think of that? Yeah. That one in his living room, it's mm -hmm. so beautiful. Just call him. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi, it's um, Nene, Matilda's friend. Hi, hope you're okay. Yes, I am. Well, I'm calling to find out if you can help me with some artwork for my book cover. What kind of book? Children's book, Pretense. Sure, I can. That's fantastic. I actually like the one in your living room. It's something I'm looking to get something in that direction. Send me a synopsis of the book. Let's see what I can come up with. Sure, sure, sure. Of course, I'll send it to you. You just send me the budget of the um, painting, then I'll send you the synopsis. Thanks for reaching out. Okay. Thank you. Bye. What? He wants me to send the synopsis of the book. Mm. <laughs> nice. Wow. So, we we'll have two parties to plan. Only one start. <laughs> oh my goodness.
I wanted to quietly move my things. It's been exactly six months since you cheated on me. And not even a call. And when I call you, you don't even pick up. And now instead of you to come in here and talk about how we can sort things out, you came here to move your things. Really? Because I don't need this conversation. Goodbye. Rita. 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 <laughs> okay. So, listen to me. Like, I know you did here, but. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's beautiful. I like the color combo, but I still can't um, connect with any. They're not bad, um, but they are not just giving that artistic feel you're looking for. Yeah, mm. I this third one, this third one is too serious. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I guess I was just calling to tell him to like hold on. Let me see. Let's call up send his designs and we'll see which one works I'm best. I'm going to say that too. Mm. Oh. Ah. Speaking of love. <laughs> it's as if he just heard us. Mm -hmm. Hi, Anthony. Yeah, um, Matilda and I were just talking about you. We were looking at the designs you sent. I think you will have to hold on. I'm not settling with any for now. <laughs> if you put it that way. Yeah, I would send you some designs that I'm respecting from an artist. You tell me what you think about them. Really? Thank you. I don't know how possible that will be. Um, probably... Afternoon or evening. If it doesn't work, then morning. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Please, what is working morning, afternoon, or evening? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. He said I'm pretty and I'm a good writer. And... and? And he would like to see me tomorrow. Uh, what did you say? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he said you're pretty and he would like to see you tomorrow. So mm -hmm. what did you say? I said we're going jogging tomorrow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay. You know, a man said you're pretty and he would like to see you tomorrow. What do you think he's trying to say? I don't know now. I'm, I'm not here, Michael. Uh, yes. Speak. I'm listening. Mm hmm. Um. Listen. The size of that cake is very important to me. And the decor at the venue, too. Edna, break all the plates in that kitchen. Do you hear me? Sorry, ma. I'm sorry, ma. And the decor at the venue, too. Good. And so send me a sample of what you have. Let me look at them and then see if it is what I like. Money is not the issue. All right, dear. Later. What is it with the noise this afternoon? That house is four thousand pounds every year. It's in Parkview, Koei. 
No, sir, you can't pay in Naira. Yes. No problem. Anytime you're ready, just give me a call and then we'll send a lawyer across to you and then you'll go through the necessary um, morning, rudiments morning. and make your payments. Good morning, dear. Good morning, ma. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. Yeah. Bye. Good morning, darling. Huh. I can see keeping fit is the way to go now. Yes, ma'am. We okay. just need to look our best for her birthday. Fantastic. Have is fun, okay? All right. Is she up? Yes, she's upstairs. Okay. Just around the estate. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Take care. Be good. Okay, you too. <sighs> Did you see my daughter as she's approaching? Good. You will not stop seeing her until she returns. Is that understood? Great. Hey. Hi, Fabricia. <laughs> Thank you guys for the exercise. I haven't done this in a very long while. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. um, so, um, how often do you guys do this? Mm, as often as possible. Not like every day, just most of the while. Oh, really? Um, if you guys can go out, catch up with you people. Is there a problem? No. Oh, okay. okay uh, yeah. Well, for the books, man, you know, as an author, you know, you need How to... How far have you gone with the cover? Is there something you think you can, like, get new ones, new covers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spoke to my colleague to see if he could get some new designs. How was jogging? <laughs> it was good, mom. Very good. You really think I'm stupid, right? I don't get. Who was that man you were jogging with? You, you had me followed for your own good. What good, mom? Who will you ever stop choking me? Choking you? Did I hear you say choking you? Do you know? What I had to go through to give you the kind of life that you have now? Do you know that I had to go to hell and back just for you to have what you are enjoying right now? How dare you raise your voice at me? Listen, we are not going to have you cheat on Eric. Do you understand? You know I don't love him. You know what? Why are you doing this to me, Mom? You will not be the first to grow affection. I'm going to be that mother that cares about you. And the earlier you stop playing the stunts that you're playing, the easier it is for both of us. It's just someone I met recently. Not that anything is happening between us yet. It's yet. Oh, you were actually waiting for something to start happening. Try me, Nene! Try me! Then you will understand that I did not give up everything just to be taken for granted. Do you understand? The chick of you. Eric? 
You know what you stand to gain in your relationship with my daughter. So you really have to wake up and act like this relationship means a lot to you. Do you know where she was today or who she was with? You see what I'm talking about? You better sit up. Listen, there's a change in plan. We don't have to wait till you get to Mauritius before you propose to her, okay? So the proposal is going to happen in your next dinner date. Yes, I will get you a beautiful diamond ring, the type I love. Oh, yes. Okay, so you guys will be talking later today. Mm-hmm. All right. You said I should think of what I would want you to get on my birthday. Yes. Take me away from my mother. Nene. You know your mother. You know what she did the last time she came here? She almost pulled down this building. So? Because of that, you don't want her to run down here anytime she's going through any challenge. Can't you see she's troubled? Can't you see? It's okay. Your mother will pay every single security agency in this country just to find you. You know her very well. That is why I need help. Because running away on my own will be hard. She would do anything to find me. Listen, we can buy your ticket out of the country. She yes. has my passport. Nene, I can't help you. I'm so sorry. Your mother is a very hard nut to crack. So nobody can help me. Nene, I'm so sorry. I cannot help you. I'm sure your mother knows that you're already here. And she will be getting ready for a fight. I'm so sorry. Be careful, my child. You are your mother, and your mother is you. Hmm? What have you done? Someone had to tell her the truth. You just told a child that you are scared of helping her. Still, you shouldn't have given it to her. And let her suffer for the rest of her life? That's very unfair. We know our sister Emilia very well. And we can't pretend we don't know what that girl is going through. My name is Sophia, not Emilia. I will do the needful when I get out of this house. 
I've decided that I will study civil engineering, move to the UK and get a really good job. Then get married when I'm 30. My boyfriend will be very handsome, with broad shoulders, beautiful smile and tall. This description should match whoever is playing the role of Eric. So, it is better adjusted after casting. This is Eric. Be careful, my child. You are your mother, and your mother is you. Hmm? Matilda. Good day, Ma. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um. Oh. How are your people? Good. I need you to advise your friend so that she does not waste the attention and respect that she's getting. Did anything happen? Both of you went jogging yesterday, right? Yes, we did. Good. Who was that young man both of you were jogging with? Someone we met, just a casual guy. Who is interested in her? No. I mean, Nene already told him she's in a relationship. You better not be lying to me. Of course not. She said that. Okay, she's upstairs. All right. Oh, um, I'll be with you in another 30 minutes. The property is very close to my house. Okay. Yes, just let me know when you're driving. All right. Where are you going in that thing you're wearing? You have your wardrobe full of clothes, and this is all you see to wear? I'm just going outside. I'm not going home with her. Fine, since you're just going outside. Matilda? Yes, ma'am. My regards to your people. Okay. Hello, Caleb. I told you that I've forgiven you. You don't have to drive long distance to be here. Today was inevitable. What happened? Can we talk? So what do you mean she has to be here? This is the only hidden place I know. Besides, you have a spare room. 
What's going on? Her mother is a nightmare. And she has been caged for long now. She can't take it anymore. What kind of mother does that? The one that is, even though she looks alright. Listen, what Nene discovered about herself is mind-boggling. She'll tell it better when she can. Okay, but the thing is, she can't go to my house. Her mother will find her. And I also have to go out and get something for her to change. It's okay. It's fine. Thank you. And uh, about your girlfriend, I'll explain things to her myself. There is no girlfriend. Okay. And please don't ask me what happened because I'm not telling. Okay. And if there's anything you want to get, now is the time. You know how dangerous it gets around here at sunset. Yeah, I'm leaving now. Just relax, be comfortable, there's nothing to worry about, okay? I'll just rush out and get the clues. It's fine. Um, Alright, I'm leaving. Oh! You have new clothes coming in. Very soon we'll have all those things. Nene? No. No, this is not happening. No, oh, please! This is... You should try this. You shouldn't sleep with nothing in your stomach. Thank you. Welcome. Is everything okay? What is it? Why? I was just... I was just told that Nanette's mom came to my house and caused the sleep. Oh my goodness. It's okay. I mean, we expected it. I just have to go to the kitchen and fix something for myself so I can figure out what to do when I get home tomorrow. You should eat. Are you okay? Trying to be. This is the first time I'm attempting leaving my mother. Well, there's always a first. Excuse me. Hi, Anthony. Yeah, I'm good. How about you? Uh, a lot is happening in my life right now. 
I hope I'll be able to talk about it soon. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Nene? Nene? Where is my daughter? I know she was here. And who said she was not here? So where did she say she was going to? What made you think she told us where she went to? Look at this short thing. Don't even let me descend on you. What are you even doing here in the first place? Why are you not in your husband's house? In case you have forgotten, this government public primary school head teacher came in for a training program. Who cares what you do with your miserable life? I just want to know where my child is. Let her breathe! Will you shut up? Emilia, she's right. You have punished that girl enough. That I am punishing my own child? Well, you can tell yourself whatever you will. But the way you are treating that girl is not love. I do not love her. After all, I have lost because of her. She's not responsible for your losses. I know that you have a very dull brain, just like your face. But let me remind you that I couldn't be all I should have been just because of her. <laughs> let me walk you through memory lane. Remember that young, handsome man? The intelligent one that came with a wedding proposal. Remember him? Both of you want scholarship to go study in UK. You dumped him and followed that good for nothing Ekene drug pusher. Drug addict. And you went to spread your legs wide open for him. And he got you pregnant. The moment that kicked you out of the house. Remember? And now you're accusing your daughter, the innocent girl, for nothing. You want her to live the life you never lived. Huh? You are a wicked woman! You are wicked! You are wicked! Very wicked woman! Emilia! You don't do that here! Wicked. And how dare you stand there and watch her insult me? She is telling you the truth! Yes! Nene deserves more that she has gotten from you! Yes. You pretended to love her, yet you are leaving your fantasies to do her! Yes. When is she going to be her own person? Mm. Let her be! Yes. Move on and stop being bitter! I have the police littered all over this town looking for my daughter. Woe betide you if they find her and any of you have a hand in her disappearance. Hmm. Heads will roll and this town will be painted in red. It is not a threat, it's a promise. Matilda told me a little of what's going on. And you would want to know more? Yeah. If you don't mind, that is. Truth is, I'm still trying to process it all. But what is clear to me is that my mother cheated on her fiancé, got pregnant with me by mistake, was kicked out by her parents, lost a scholarship and her fiancé. So she decided I was going to be everything she wanted to be as a young woman. Seriously? Yes. She succeeded. My mother preferred that she was named Sophia and not Emilia. So she named me Sophia. You know, I looked at the picture my aunt gave me and I was staring at my mom looking like me in her time. I did not have a life of my own. She made all the decisions for me from what to eat, what to wear, whom to talk to. 
or choice of school. I'm a civil engineer because she wanted me to study it. And that's because that's what she wanted to study? Yes. Hmm. And you would have preferred creative writing? Yes. Um, how do you know that? I read your synopsis. And I must say you're a very beautiful writer. Thank you. Welcome. I have been a younger version of my mother all these years. Who am I really? Guys, you need to see this. You need to see. Look at. Look at this. Jesus. The police is looking everywhere for you. so much for the meal. I really enjoyed it. It's okay. I was thinking if it was possible to read your manuscript. Oh, of course. Sure. I'll just um, send it to you. Hold on. I just sent you what I did for your book cover. Oh, okay. Done. I've sent it. Let me check what you just sent. You did this? I did. You like it? I actually love it. It's it's so beautiful. I'm glad you do. Wow. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Anytime. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, my being here, is it comfortable for you? Sure. At least I'm glad I have a space that works for you. Yeah. <laughs> and your girlfriend? Not here. Can I read your book now? Of course. I really want to read it. I really love this. You love it? Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.
you could not keep Nene close to you. Ma. Ma, I tried. Tried? You tried? What do you think trying will get for you in this life? I saw you as someone who had all the features a man should have. All I wanted was for you to marry my daughter so that my eyes can be on her 247. But you failed. Why did you think I was ever paying you? Do you think I will do everything I said I would do for you if you do not do your bit? Uh, it's, I, uh... Do not marry me. Nene worked out of this house. Out of my life. She did not call you. She did not even come close to you. What have you been doing all this while? How bad can you be? My, you know I... what? Get out my house. Oh, please, I'm, I'm Get I'm... out of my house! Empty barrel. Well, this is my new number. I will no longer be using the old one. You should count yourself lucky to have this one. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, just save it. Sure. Bye. I can't believe your mother is still doing this. It would not be my mother if she stopped already. I have to call my uncle. Why? I am ready to see my mom. What? Why? For, for, for weeks now you've been talking about the future and the things you want to do for yourself. Don't you like it here? I do. You've been incredibly good to me. But I am not free until I am really free. And... You think seeing how will make that happen? Yes. Fine. Hello, Nene? Yes, Uncle. Where are you? I'm sorry, but I can't tell you. Are you okay? Yes, I am. I'm fine. Please. Uncle, I would need you to talk to my mom. Tell her I want to see her. But she doesn't pick anybody's call. Uncle, please go there and talk to her. 
Tell her I would like to see you on Thursday. Okay. So, how are you faring? Do you need money? Very fine. Please do not give her this number. I'll text you an address where I'd want us to meet. Okay. Okay. Bye, darling. Bye. Thank you. Emilia, are you alone? Yes, I am. Every other person has been sacked. What? What do you want? Nene would like to see you on Thursday. She called you? Yes. With which number? A private number. She called and she sent you here? She will send the location and time for the meeting. <laughs> but my own daughter now sends me a location of where to meet with her. She's trying to say that she is her own self. Just like you are. And would like to be left alone to discover life herself. Emilia, you have been angry and bitter about this whole situation for too many years. You made a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. And that mistake resulted to a beautiful child. No need to continue punishing yourself on Nene for something that happened for 30 years. You've been obsessed for all that you lost for so long. And that has made you insensitive. That girl is your blessing and nothing less. We need to show her love. You need to show her love by letting her go. Let her go. Forget counting the years you lost in raising that child. Enjoy being you now. Or else you are going to lose it. So why choose the nights before your birthday to see her? I want to see if a new chapter is possible. I need that for myself too. You know you can stay here for as long as you want. Until you're... Until you decide what you want to be doing. And where you want to live. I know. Thank you for being so decent, sweet and fun. Oh. 
You know you can invite Anthony. Why would I do that? Well, you talk with him all the time on the phone. I talk with you a lot in person. Do you like him? Yes. That's good. You can invite him, you know. If I am inviting anyone here, then I'm ready to be with that person. So I'll let you know when the time comes. Okay. Hi, Mom. I'm really sorry I left the way I did. I asked Uncle to bring you here because I'm... Your passport is here. All your documents. And everything that I bought in your name. Happy birthday. Mom. I am really sorry you missed out on a lot of things because of me. I know how much you love me and I love you too. It's just Shh. A... I'm sorry for 30 years. I'm truly very sorry. I love you very much, Nene. I want you to go ahead and explore and be all that you have ever wanted to be. Mommy is always here for you. She be okay. She will. Emilia is a strong woman. How about you? Are your friends good to you? They are the best. Happy birthday, Nene. It's tomorrow, Uncle. I want to start today. Thank you. Uncle, please take care of my mom for me. I will. And take care of you. All the best.
doesn't come. Please look up. When you wake, you will be 30 and free. What would you want to do on the first day of your entire life? Happy birthday. Thank you. You did all this. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> and then right up in the room. What would I want to do on the first day of my entire life? So what is it? I would like to invite you to my friend's place, where I live for now. So why on earth would you want to invite me to my own house? I told you if I'm to invite anybody here, then I'm ready to be with that person. And I will let you know when the time comes. I badly want to be with you too. Children of the world, happy birthday, Sophia! Nene, Ojibu! Happy birthday, Nene. What? Please, let's cut the cake. Oh, before then, let's sing happy birthday to her. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hip! Okay, let's cut the cake. Alright. One, two, three, four. Will I ever really get the chance to fall hopelessly in love, love with the one who's meant for me? Will I ever really get the chance to be in full control and not someone dictating for me? No longer wanna be stuck in a box. Think it's time I came out to the sun. Stuck in the cage and they really suck. So ready, I'm not afraid anymore. Finally know who I'm meant to be. Don't need your permission, I'm gonna be me. See, it's only a matter of. 